G'day everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, I'm going to be replacing our off-grid switchboard. This is the old one, it's a 12-pole board. I need a little bit more room, so we're going to upgrade to the 24-pole. The reason for this is I'm adding a couple more air conditioners. I wasn't sure how efficient the system was going to be when we installed the off-grid. It's uh, far better than what I thought. So we'll chuck a couple more air cons on. Use a bit more power, now we're not paying for it. Let's take a quick look on the console of how the system is operating today. We're at 96%, it's a little bit cloudy. It's nearly 12 o'clock. If we tap on one of the icons there, it uh, shows the information about the device. There was the battery. With the PV inverter. It's the 5 kilowatt Primo, it's AC coupled. Then we've got the PV chargers, this is the DC coupled. With the 450 200, 250 60, and the 150 35. This is the AC load to the house, 6 kilowatts at the moment. Now we'll take a look on the VRM portal. This has a bit more information. I do like the console, it's easy to look at. But uh, this one here, you can dial in what you want to see, how things have been performing. The boxes there pretty much show the same thing. PV chargers, PV inverters, your battery. We take a look at the date here. This is a range selected from when we installed our new battery. We upgraded from 44 kilowatt hours to 55. And we uh, used 1.7 kilowatts from the generator since then. That was just at the start. But uh, not touching anything else but the batteries and the solar panels now. It's been a good upgrade. Run plenty of air con at night time. Here's a system overview for the last two days. Consumption of 108 kilowatts. That's 50 per day. not too bad. That costs about $2,000 a quarter if we were to be paying for it. So the overnight low there on the battery is about 60%. I'd like to have plenty of overhead. Now we get back into wiring up the switchboard. I've removed the old board from the wall. Cut some holes in the chip rock to suit the new board. Help me out by giving me a like if you're enjoying my content and leave me a comment if you'd like me to cover a certain topic. I'll put some marks on the wall where I want the hollow wall anchors. There's six of them to go in the wall. Now that I've made the mark, we can punch a hole. I usually just grab a flat blade screwdriver, give it a twist and push it through. We punch out all six of them. Now grab the hollow wall anchor and the hollow wall anchor gun. You just clamp a little bit of pressure on the hollow wall anchor, it'll hold itself in the gun there while you insert it into the wall and then you crimp it down. There's all six crimped down onto the wall, securely fastened to the chip rock. We'll slide all those cables through the board and fix it on. 
check out the rest of the channel while you're here, Organic Power, where we cover lightning protection to circuit protection and just about everything in between. It's nice and secure now. Just make sure it's level. We'll tighten it right up. Here are the breakers installed. We've got two brand new ones there for the air conditioners. There's plenty of room down the bottom there for the contactor that controls the spa and also the contactor that controls the hot water system. Check out a couple of episodes on how that's all wired. There's plenty of info on the channel. Shows you how uh, I've connected everything, wired everything up. So there we go. Power's back on. There's the spark controller. That's fed from the BMV. So once the battery's at 100%, the uh, spa will switch on. And there I have a timer that controls the hot water. The hot water comes on at nine o'clock in the morning, turns off at three o'clock. Then we've got the two breakers that are switched off, ready for the two new air conditioners. We've got the cover back on. All neat and tidy. I do have to pick up a new circuit breaker for the inverter. There's a little bit of a chip off the corner. They're only like six or seven bucks, so I'll grab a new one of them. Now I can remove the protective cover off the doors. I don't mind these boards. The brakes are covered up, but you can still see what's uh, going on inside. There we go, got the labels on. It's all finished off. Mate switch, we've got uh, RC protected light and power. Also, all of the air conditioners are RCD protected as well as the spa and the hot water service. Put the battery warning label up there, just to let people know there is a battery on the system. Here are the slabs for the new air conditioning units. Just pour a little bit of concrete in there. Slopes away from the house, so any condensation from the air conditioning unit flows away from the house. I'll grab some of this ducting and run that down next to the Primo. So we'll have another one running down there to the new unit. That's good enough. I'd rather have a nice slab rather than just a couple of pavers sitting on the gravel. It's a bit more sturdy and a uh, Nice neat job. Here are the three existing reverse cycle air conditioners that are hooked up to the off grid. And there's gonna be two more added. In total, there's five units, an eight kilowatt, two 3.5s and two 2.5s. So in a couple of weeks time, once I get them plumbed in and hooked up, we'll check out the results, see how much power they're all drawing and how cool the house is. Alright guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe to the channel, this really helps out, spreads the info to a wider audience. Take it easy.